football fever continues right now on NBC Sports Radio. We are live from Radio Row at Super Bowl 50 in San Francisco. How cool is that? Now, back to another center and your host, Mark Malone. 855-323-4NBC is the number if you'd like to join the conversation as we count you down to Super Bowl 50, broadcasting live from Radio Row here in San Francisco, California. We talk so much about how brutal this game is, and we we relish in the fact that these young alpha male athletes run around and do some amazing things on the field, and then as we get older, we're left with what's <laughs> what remains. Uh, I'm sitting here with uh, one of my contemporaries, a guy that I played against in the National Football League former quarterback in the NFL. I remember him most with the Houston Oilers, and that's one Dan Pastorini. Dan, how are you? Good, Mark. How are you? Good. good. You, you look good, man. So do you. Well, thank so you very you. much. I, you and I have been talking at the commercial break. You attribute some of your good health to this new stem cell stuff that's going on, and you've uh, aligned yourself with Premier Stem Cell Institute. Tell us about it. I have. I uh, got got aligned with them, I guess you'd say, about four years ago, and I went in with uh, some hip problems and shoulder problems. Mm-hmm. And I basically was very arthritic in my right hip and my right shoulder. It was bone on bone. Wasn't really sure if they could do anything for me, but went up there and they went through the process, got the bone marrow, centrifuged it, separated the stem cells, injected it in my hip. And I literally walked out of that facility, walked through the airport for about six or eight months, and that prolonged me having to have my hip replaced. Wow. So I kind of enjoyed it pain-free for that eight-month period, but then it was one of those that I just had to get it done. So I got it done, had my shoulder done, and then they also administered some stem cell for the recovery process of my surgeries. Right. And I really healed that much, a lot quicker than it normally would. Is there any part of your body that you haven't had stem cell in? Because I'm, I'm looking to find out where the line is that I can get in. This, this is apparently pretty good stuff. Most of what I've done has been the, the joints, you know, the shoulder, the hip, and I'm now we're going to start on my back. I've got some back issues that uh, caused me a few problems. And of course you have a doctor here with you. Doc, give us a sense of what this will do for anybody's out there. I mean, we're talking about former professional athletes or NFL players who were brutally beat up for a long, for many years, and we've got some residual injuries from some of this, but is this something that anybody on the street would be uh, benefiting from? Possibly. First off, we have to determine what, what's the problem, have a precise diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Because depending on what you have, there's different treatments that have either more or less success. Mm-hmm. So, But the stem cells can differentiate or become a more mature tissue like bone, cartilage, or joint. But they also modulate the immune system, and they have a very strong anti-inflammatory pro- properties, much greater than steroids without the downside of steroids. Interesting. So... Uh, even if, like, you have a short-term relief, say, six, eight months or maybe a year, it can be repeated quite safely, and you can, uh, you know, maybe prevent uh, a, a more major operation, uh, prevent maybe getting into more medications like pain medicine, uh, or eventually when you have the, uh, the, uh, the definitive operation, you'll be in better shape. Let me ask you a question. Are all these stem cells being derived from the patients themselves, or do you guys use a stem cell bank? Well, in this country, we can only use the patient's own stem cells. Okay. So we're FDA compliant, where we harvest the cells, prepare them in a way that is FDA compliant, and then inject them. Uh, there is a way to, to, to do more than that, but it's not okay. It's not legal in this country. Right. We're talking with Dan Pastorini, the former Houston Oiler quarterback here under center. Dan, uh, obviously, you know, as we get older, we, we continue to have these problems and issues. Is this something that will continue? You'll you'll continue to use as you as you go forward. Absolutely, as I need it, I will definitely uh, use their facilities and their their stem cell as I go forward for sure. Dan, uh, it's great to see you, man. You look good. Thank you, Mark. I'm good glad to see that you. you found something that uh, is helping you with some of these injuries and pain. It's the Premier Stem Cell Institute. And for our listeners out there, if you want more information, you can go to the internet and just plug in Premier premierstemcellinstitute.com and you can find out all you need to do. Doc, I appreciate your Thank you so involvement much. as well. And Danny, uh, I look forward to seeing you, if not beforehand, down in Houston next year for the you Super Bowl. Good seeing you. Thank you. Yeah, one of the good guys, Dan Pastorini, former uh, NFL quarterback, joining us here on Under Center. I'm Mark Malone, and this is NBC Sports Radio and the Mobile App.